good morning everyone today i am going to discuss about the working of a transformer under full load condition and also i am going to draw the phasor diagram under a different loading conditions means when the load is inductive what is the phasor diagram when the load is capacitive what is the phasor diagram and when the load is resistive what is the phasor diagram okay now see here when the load is connected the load is connected see here this is see this is the load when the load is connected on the secondary side of a transformer secondary current i2 this is secondary current i2 flowing through the secondary winding as shown in the figure see here this is the secondary current okay now this one this this is the main flux of the transformer see here this is a blue color this is Transformer. This is the main flux. We can call main main flux. This is the main flux of the transformer, which is produced by the magnetizing component of the non-load current. See here, this is I M magnetizing component of the non-load current. Due to this magnetizing component of non-load current, main flux is produced in the core of the transformer. Now coming to the secondary side, secondary current I2 set up its own flux. Okay, own flux that is denoted by I2. See here, this is I2. See its direction. Its direction is from right side to left side. Okay. Now this I2 is just opposite to the main flux I. As a result, the main flux, the main flux is decreases. Okay. As a result, main flux is decreases. When the main flux is decreases, the primary induced EMF, this primary induced EMF is also decreases. Okay, this primary induced EMF is also decreases. When the primary induced EMF decreases. The vector difference between this V1, vector difference between this V1 and E1 is also decreases. The vector difference between this V1 and the E1, E1 is increases. Okay, as a reason, the primary draws a more current from the source. This is this current is known as magnetizing component of no load current. That is I2 dash. I2 dash magnetizing component of no load current. Remember this one. I2 is a magnetizing component of no load current. This I2 is just opposite to the I2 dash. Sorry, this I2 dash is just opposite to the I2. Okay. Now this I2 dash produces its own flux that is I2 dash. Here this see here this is I2 dash. Okay. See its direction. It is from left side to right side. Okay. Now this I2 dash is just opposite to the I2 as shown in the figure. And this I2 dash neutralizes the effect of pi therefore the main flux in the core of a transformer is constant therefore transformer is said to be a constant flux machine okay this is the operation of a transformer under full load condition now see here when a transformer is loaded the primary current i1 has a two components the first one you know no load current i0 it has two components see here this is im magnetizing component and this is core loss component and second one is i2 dash which is no load component of the primary current this is just opposite to the opposite to the i2 secondary current Therefore, I1 is equal to I0 plus I2 dash. Okay. Now we are going to draw the phasor diagram. Now we are going to draw the phasor diagram while considering the case one. Case one means when the load is inductive. See here, this load is inductive. In Inductive. And this is voltage V2. Okay. This is voltage. V2. 
when load is inductive what will happen the current i2 when the load is inductive inductive load inductive load inductive load the i2 i2 lacks i2 lacks the v2 okay i2 lacks the v2 now see here up to this one we know this is phi and this is i m and this is v1 and this is v1 and this is this one we know okay. and this is So see here, this is I2. This I2 lacks the V2. So V2 where is V2? V2 is here. Lagging means it will come somewhere here. This side. This is I2. Okay. This is I2. And angle lacks the I2 lacks the V2 or E2. An angle of I2. Now this I2 is this side. And what about the I2 dash? I2 dash. This I2 is just opposite to this I2. Opposite means it will come somewhere here. This side. This side. Okay, this is I2 dash. Now what is the resultant of I0 and I2 dash? The resultant of I0 and I2 dash is nothing but I1. Primary current. I1. See here. This is I1. Angle of phi two. Angle of sorry phi one. Okay. This is the phasor diagram of a, a transformer when the load is inductive. For the more clarification, we will see. Okay. Uh, sorry. This is uh, the phasor diagram of a transformer under inductive load. So see here. Second case when the load is in okay for better understanding I am showing and the same phasor diagram here okay so see here this is pi and this is I M we know this one we don this one this one this one okay when the load is inductive the load is inductive when the load is inductive I two lacks the V2, V2 is here. Okay, this is V2. This is V2. I2 lacks the V2. V2 is here. Lacks means I2 lacks means it will come somewhere this side. It will come somewhere this side. See here. This is I2 lacks the V2 an angle of I2. Okay, now this I2 is opposite to I2 dash. And both are opposite to each other. Means this is I two. So I one I two dash will come this uh, this side somewhere. See here, this is I two dash. Okay, this is I two dash. Now what is the resultant of this I naught and I two dash? Resultant of I naught and I two dash is nothing but I one. You know this one. I one is equal to I naught plus I two dash. I two dash. See here, this is I one. Angle of I one. Okay. This is the phasor diagram of a transformer when the load is inductive. Okay. Now similarly, when the load is capacitive, see when the load is capacitive, the current I two leads to V two. Okay. When the load is capacitive, the current I two leads leads the is the V2 as one of the figure leading means it will come somewhere here this side see here this is I2 leads the V2 an angle of phi2 okay now we know I2 and I2 dash both are opposite to each other means I2 dash comes somewhere this side so see here this is I2 dash the resultant of this 
I not and I two dash is I one. See this. This is I one. Resultant of I not and I two dash is I one. Okay, this is the phasor diagram of a transformer. When the load is capacitive. Now similarly, when the load is resistive, what will happen? When the load is resistive, this I two is in phase with the V two. I two. I two in phase. In phase with V two as shown in the figure. Figure in phase with this V two means it will come somewhere this side. See here, this is in phase I two and I two and I two S both are opposite, so it will come somewhere I two is this side. This is I two. Okay, resultant of this I two dash and I not is I one. And this is the phase diagram of a transformer when the load is resistive. Okay. Thank you.